<clears throat> so what we've been doing up here was a is a push within um, administrators and uh, jail personnel to gain transparency as to what measures have been taken for COVID-19 um, with the inmate population and with uh, the staff, being that the staff most likely would be the ones bringing it in. Uh, my personal experience and what really got me onto this, someone else suggested to me that we look into it, and it brought me back to when I was in Dodge Correctional Institution and uh, waiting for classification. Um, I was on a, about a 14-man wing, it's about seven cells, uh, two, pre two people per cell, 23 hour lockdown, one hour out per day. Um, it was a matter of maybe two days, one person got sick within one of the cells on our seven cell wing. And then within the next two days, the entire cell or the entire wing was sick with the flu. The only precautions um, taken to stop transmitting the flu to anybody else within the prison was they just kept us on lockdown for that extra hour per day. There was no medical attention. There was no um, singling up of cells, none of it. So, I mean, it's, anybody that's had the flu can imagine um, what those circumstances are like with one toilet um, within the cell. Uh, is basically between you and your celly, switching between being on the toilet, throwing up, or uh, trying to lay in your bed, trying to stay away from, you know, the air, pumping cold air on you. So, I mean, people that have been in will understand this, people that haven't. Um, hopefully that, you know, describes what the conditions were like only under COVID-19. This is a lot likely more chance that you're facing death also, especially with any kind of pre-existing health condition. So not only are you in a miserable, in miserable circumstances, but on top of that, you also have the possibility of dying within that cell without seeing your, your family. For those of us that have kids, your kids, um, all your loved ones, and, uh, and at least in Eau Claire County, you know, gaining any kind of transparency about the situation has been a three-week fight. We got a little bit, but, you know, that's another thing that would be on people's minds. Is anybody going to even know if this happened to me? So that's that's my personal experience and then my, my story that really related to uh, this current circumstance.